Calculations is an important engine room in the field of data analytics, and being able to alter a different DAX formula in Power BI is key to gaining insight from your data to make informed business decisions. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate average total sales per unique product. Basically, we want to see the contribution of each unique product to the overall total sales. So let's dive into that. I'm going to be using the built-in semantic model in the Power BI desktop. So we can see this financials. And of course, I created two dimension tables. So we have the D date and the D product dimension tables. And of course, we have the one-to-many relationship established from the dimension tables across to the fact table. Let's inspect our data. I'm going to come to the table view and of course we can see this is the D date. Now the first thing I did was to use the calendar DAX function and of course I extracted the oldest date from the date column of the financial table using the main function. Also I extracted the latest or the newest date from the date column of the financial table using the max function. And of course I used the year function to extract the year from the date. And of course, I use the format function to extract the month name from the date column. And of course, in order to have the month sorted chronologically, that is from January to December, I also created a helper column with this month number. And I sorted the month name by the month number by coming to the column tools contextual ribbon tab. And then I choose the sort by and I sort by the month number and it's going to give us January to December and I'm going to come to the D product so basically we have these six products we have the Carretera, Montana, Paseo, Velo, VTT, Amarillo and of course we also created the product ID 1 to 6 let's inspect the financials now this is the original fact table so I'm going to come to the report view and what I'm going to do first is to calculate the total sales so i want to create that under the financial table so right click and choose new measure I'll call this one total sales and then i want to use the sum x function so sum x now the sum x function requires a table to iterate over so i'm going to give the financial table as the table put in the comma and then for the expression i want to call the sales column in the financial table as the expression so financials and then the sales and i'm going to close or press Control alt enter to jump to the next line backspace and then close the brackets and then click enter okay there we go so it's going to be lovely to apply currency formatting so i'm going to come here and choose gb pound symbol and then I'm going to drop the total sales measure inside the report canvas. And let's see total sales by the date. So I'm going to drop this here. And of course, we have the day, month, quarter, year. So I'm going to check on check the day and the quarter. And then let's turn this to matrix. And I'm going to click on this to expand the 2013 and 2014. And let's see the results. So now this is the total sales across the time period for the 2013 and 14. Now, let's calculate the average total sales per unit product. Now, to do that is very simple. I'm going to right click and choose new measure. So I'm going to call this one AVG um, total sales per unique products. And for this, I'm going to use the divide function. Now, the divide function requires a numerator and a denominator. Now, for the numerator, I'm going to call the total sales measure that is already established. So, total sales, and I'm going to put in a comma. And then for the denominator, now I'm going to use the distinct count to count all the list of the product ID. So, that's going to be distinct count. And then for the column name argument on the Dixon count, I'm going to pass in the product ID. Okay, so that's going to be the product name, the table name, and then the product ID column. So close the bracket for the Dixon count, Alt, Enter, Backspace, 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 and close the bracket, and I click Enter. Now let's apply currency formatting, and I'm going to come to the currency and choose the JB pound symbol. 
and then let's drop the calculation into the visual and let's expand and see okay there we go so we can see for the month of september 2013 the actual total sales is four million four eighty four thousand pounds now for the average total sales per unique product so we have the seven forty seven thousand three 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 pounds so this is basically how to calculate the average total sales per unique product trust you enjoy this video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you for watching bye for now